Hi friends, welcome back. Today is catch up day. <laughs> as much as I wanted to get out and go for a walk, I have so much to do to get caught up on life. And we have really nice weather coming up, even though it's super sunny today. You can see the good sunshine outside. And I might get out for a walk later this afternoon. But I just, let me just show you the messes around the house. And they're all like, just because of the trip and because of laundry and life. But I don't feel like I can get my head wrapped around the day until I get some of these things straightened up. And so that's where I'm starting. Let me just show you. So here's my mess with all my electronic stuff. I won't get Kaylee, but you can't have my Twix. Look at this. I didn't eat this on the road. Salted caramel Twix. That is going, you're not, I'm oh, not sharing. I, I, <laughs> I know. So I have all of this to sort out, but I know I can't sit down to edit until I get the rest of my stuff done. But this is driving me nuts. Then we have laundry still going from last night. I have a new load that I just put in, a load that I took out, a load that I moved. We have at least one load here, if not two, one more here on the ground. And this area right here and this area back here are kind of starting to bother me. And I think it's time to undo the pandemic drawers. We've got all our masks in here and I think it's time to switch this and not have it be a mask drawer anymore. So what I'm thinking, because we don't need to wear masks, I'm not gonna throw them away. I think I'll just put them in a Ziploc bag and tuck them into like the kitchen, what do you call it, the towel drawer. I think I'm gonna turn this into like a little summer drawer where I'm gonna put like sunscreen in one and then like sunglasses in another. I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of play with it and see what I can come up with. I don't know. I'm, I'm just wanting this area to be more conducive to like summer stuff and being able to just come and go as we do our activities. And so like for the kids, like if they're over playing on the trampoline or running around at the park, I want them to be able to come and quickly spray themselves with sunscreen and then bring the sunscreen back and put it away. But then I also want their towels to be accessible as well. So I've gotten this bin here and they pack away really well and then they can just take what they need and go and use it and then bring it back and I will wash it and put it back in here. But as you can see, this has just kind of become a catch-all. I need to clean this stuff up. And I think it's time to put away the warm cozy socks. We still have unmatched socks there that will stay, but maybe I move the towel thing up here and kind of get it out of the way and off of the shelf, but then Ashley can't reach it. So as you can kind of see, I'm just kind of in this mode of like, how do I do it? Then here in the kitchen, Kaylee has done her dishes. They are all loaded. This is just from this morning. And I'm gonna get my kids doing their regular chores so we can have a clean house to start our day. Look at her, she's so cute. We got these overalls in Utah at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Say, I tell you, the Walmart there is way better than ours, <laughs> right? Yeah. We kept finding things and we're like, all right, you can have it, you can have it. But she has a cute little tank top and a sports bra on underneath it. Yeah. And that's really cute. But we're gonna get our house a little bit clean and then we can play. Is Abby gone like all day long at her tournament or is it just what? for a little while? No, she came back a little bit ago and Are you gonna go lost. play? Yeah. Okay, get your chore done then you can go play. It's summertime, I want them to be able to get up and go and do their thing, but I also wanna have a clean house. So I'm <laughs> gotta make sure we instill chores in the morning for summertime routine. Also, this little massager gets put away. It's coming in handy for Abby, but update on that. We go and see the orthopedic specialist in two days. I've checked into her appointment over at Children's Hospital, and we are going to go and see. And I talked to my dad about her back. Um, update if you're new. My daughter has had chronic back pain for, since like October of last year. We don't know what's wrong. But as I talked to my dad about the steps that we followed, along the way. Um, X-rays, PT for four weeks. We don't know what's wrong, nothing's improving. It even got a little bit worse last week. He was like, yeah, we're, MRI, that will tell you a whole lot. So I'm really hoping that they actually do the MRI on Thursday and it's not just a talking appointment. I really want to have like the next steps follow through. But I gotta keep going. I'm gonna go fold those whites and start working on that little area in here and I'll let you keep sweeping. 
Bye. Good kid. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. All right, I'm wondering, you guys, do you guys still have towels from when you were first married? Oh my God, when we were first married? Yep, yeah, that, the, that towel there is from when we were first married. Same with the blue one right down there. Creature of habit, I can't throw it away. It's still a good towel, so we still use it, but we have switched to all white towels in general because they're easy to wash, bleach, super clean, and it's just easier. And Costco sells them, so that's even better. So, that is done. Now, to figure out this little, two little nook areas. And I've got all these COVID tests, got from the government that came in the mail right before we left. We didn't end up needing to use any of them on our trip, which was nice, no one got sick. We do have major allergies in Utah. So that is gonna have to change when we go back. We're gonna have to like amp up our allergy doses before we go. All right, COVID tests. Oops, not quite tucked away. Okay, we'll figure that out here in a second. So offshore they fall and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Okay, masks out. I'm pretty sure we have enough sanitizer. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of these. I'll put these into the medicine drawers or medicine boxes or something because we don't need this many. Ashley just found a stash of Reese's Thins that someone has obviously found because I haven't had a single one of these. Really? After you have breakfast, you can have one. It's probably like there's probably 10 in there, but you need to go have breakfast first. Okay, well, go put it on my desk. Go put it on, put it on my desk. All right, here's the trash. I've emptied my little laundry trash bag that I keep back here on the door. And I've got that in there, but a lot of that trash came from right here. So here it is all cleaned up. I have the drawers over here ready to go for sunscreen. I do have one uh, sanitizer in here. And I've got some extra Tide Pods that I'll use up, but then I'll get sunscreen put into these too. This is a pair of shoes I need to take a picture of and try and sell on Facebook Marketplace. Brand new, literally have never been worn. And she outgrew them before we could actually get to summertime. I'm not really sure why we never wore them, but they're perfectly good. And then you do the wait, the one minute wait for the laundry to come out that ends up being like five minutes. So I don't wanna waste my time, I'm gonna keep going. I'll fold that load as soon as that one is done, and hopefully this one will be done soon after I'm done. Okay, this area is officially done, and I will come back. Oh, shoot, that laundry is done now. <laughs> I'll be back right now. Fabulous. All right, we've officially brought out the fans, and we'll probably get out the AC units when Jason's home tonight or tomorrow night. He probably will be too tired tonight, but it's going to be close to 90 degrees in a couple days, so I'm starting with fans. And then I'm going to start over here with um, my desk. I need to just kind of unload everything and get my footage onto my computer because I had a little bit of an issue with the day we filmed my sister's reception. So I'm going to have to film a little bit of a spoof with that video. But let's get this stuff all taken Guys, care of. I have had the hardest time. If this doesn't load right now, yeah, I'm so going to lose it. I have been going through, oh, it did. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me make sure all the media is there. Guys, I can't even tell you. I haven't had access to my library for all this footage of my sister's wedding. I would have, have cared about the rest of it. But my entire drive, like this entire thing, was not loading on my computer. Like I could not get it to, I couldn't get any access to it, like at all. Oh my God. 
I was really starting to panic. Luckily, I had just uploaded her wedding video to her Google Drive, my sister's. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. We'll edit tomorrow when it's raining. I wanted to just make sure I had all the footage taken care of because the disc I'm using right now is almost full. So I wanted to make sure I had a backup of my sister's wedding stuff. <sighs> I could breathe. I can breathe. I need to send my sister all of her videos and such. Um, I think she's decided how she wants to share and view her own wedding video. I'll talk about that in another video. Mo, you probably have already watched it. She's still making her decision in current day for me, um, but I will probably update within the wedding videos that I'm going to be able to share with you. It's kind of confusing because most people don't want to be on YouTube. My sister and her new husband haven't decided yet, current day. So, Ashley, do you have the scissors? I don't know. So I've been doing this for hours. I've been in the computer room going through receipts. Yeah. I had bought some stuff for my sister's wedding the day before the wedding. So I had to get her receipts and have her pay me back. Where are the scissors and the comb? Quick, I'm gonna cut her. She wants me to trim her hair off. <sighs> anyway, I was just doing all this stuff and then getting all the footage from all of our, our entire trip. And then right when I had all of it done and ready to go to Costco, my list is ready to go. I didn't, it like suddenly disappeared and I couldn't access any of it. And I was like, where did it go? Okay, so we're gonna keep going with our day. Kaylee and all of her friends went down to the lake. Um, their first official day at the lake. It is 74 degrees today and everyone is at the lake. My friend texted me and she's like, it's my first beach day. And I was like, I have so much to do. I can't come to the beach. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay. She's like, I can only stay for two hours because I'm here with another friend who's leaving to go to Texas. She's like, we will officially do our beach day another day, probably on Saturday because it's going to be 85 degrees and then 88 degrees on Sunday. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but we're not allowed to go to the beach on Sunday. We might have to go cool off if we don't get the air conditioning units out. But she wants me to trim her hair really quick. Hey, check out my peonies really quick. Oh, they finally God. bloomed while we were gone. Look how pretty. I only got two. But that's okay because they're really healthy. The whole bush is really, really healthy. Yeah. I'm gonna really learn how to like trim it down at the end of the season and learn how to like well, they only manage the plate, the plant. All right, we're just gonna trim the bottoms. All right, you really can't tell the difference. Yeah. I just took the smidgen off the bottom, not very much. But this one wants to go to Costco, way bad. Graham crackers, promise me you'll eat fruits and veggies. If I get you graham crackers. Whoa, can we see if anyone's playing outside? Yes, I can. Um, but go add graham crackers to the list and I'll clean up this towel I that I just barely crackers. cleaned. I wish she had gotten a dirty one. <laughs> Next up, we're going to put our 4th of July pinwheels out and Ashley's going to take out grandma's pinwheels. We're going to keep the pinwheel thing going. We're just going to put some different festive ones out. These are harder to put in because it's bigger um, sticks. All right. We got our pinwheel set up here. I had to get an uneven amount. I got the four there and then one more because that's all they had when I bought them. And my poor little plants up here, they're kind of, they didn't get watered while I was gone and they actually had sunny weather. So they kind of withered a little bit, but I'm kind of thinking I need to kind of clean up and spruce up porch here, which means maybe we'll go to Hobby Lobby and get a 4th of July mat get, um... or something. I know, I have, I now I want to get all my decorations out. I have a little barn wind chime that goes up there. I want to clean up these pots. These actually are supposed to go in those pots. That's dad. Dad needs to find screws that can go into the concrete. Don't talk about my messes. Don't expose me. Don't talk about my messes. Don't talk about Bruno. Don't talk about mom's messes. You talk about my messes and then you don't want me to do like one single mess Touche, touche. I just remembered that I need to go straight to Costco to get gas because we are plumb out. In fact, got the doors open here. I want to see how many miles I've got left here. Hang on. Okay, it says door open, but 24 miles. I have 24 miles left. Luckily, Costco is like a mile away. Let's go and check this out. There's one vitamin water left. Abby is going to be so happy. Oh, they're not all gone. <laughs> they're just all down here. Well, anyway, got that. 
I got all my veggies. They did not have blueberries this time. But I've got all my veggies and my dip. All right, let me just show you really quick what we got. Got artichokes, two things of strawberries, cottage cheese, that yummy pickle dip, two bananas, lettuce, the vitamin waters. Pineapples were like $2.50. They were like super cheap. And then some chips. Even though we have a ton of chips, I really like these ones with that dip. So that one's for me. Then eggs. Jason can't eat as many eggs anymore. So I only got the 18 count. Then I got some of these little biscuit thingies. Kaylee likes to make her little egg and ham sandwich in the mornings. More milk. Um, Ashley's protein drinks. And a box of yogurt down there. I'm editing this travel day video and Jason just came home how you doing oh look at him using his bag ladies how handy is that bag it's a good bag you liked it it's good it holds a lot of stuff holds more than other stuff it's very manly it's tough that's what yes I, all the ladies manly. said it was very manly oh yeah as if I wasn't manly enough <laughs> <laughs> distinguished manly yes what that's manly. Look at adding <laughs> the other adjectives. You had a good day? You said it was weird, but just hard to get back into the flow. It's yeah. okay, we're gonna go on vacation again in just a few weeks. No, I know, I mean, all the crap I have to do to prep and then all the stuff to come back. <laughs> we need to make it fun while I'm gone. We are. Fun for us or for them? I just need to keep them happy. So, I know. It's uh, fun for us I and for them. To, like, well, we can't go to Yellowstone, but I wanna go to the T-Town, I wanna, like just, Stop in and visit your family. Hey guys, how's it going? We know you're really doing all right. Cool. We're here for a day or two. <laughs> all right, we're on to something else. I know. Yeah, we should plan our escape. But see, you gotta relinquish a little control. And let me do a little bit. We are gonna do something on our way there. That's gonna be fun. What? Wouldn't focus on me. <laughs> so on our trip next, when we go back to Utah, because we're going to northern um, Idaho or southern. I don't know what it is. Southern Idaho. Yeah. Um, first, we're gonna go to Bear Lake. We we're gonna go a different route, and I, my friend Stacy, did the same route going home. She, anyway, long story short, she was in Logan the same time we were left the day before we did, and took the same route going the opposite direction. And they ended up staying in Lava Hot Springs, in southern Idaho, and they had a camper van, so they stayed at a KOA. And it got me thinking that that's where we could stay. The KOAs are all full, but I could find a hotel or something either there or in Pocatello, Idaho when we go back down to Utah to see my family and go to the Lava Hot Springs that evening when we drive into town and then the next morning we go to Bear Lake. So I am trying to change things up, dear husband of mine. We don't want to go to the Tetons. Or and we haven't planned, besides like the aquatic center and the things the kids like to do during the week that we're in Logan, we haven't really planned extra things. If you want to go somewhere else, it just is a matter of driving and more gas. Well, <laughs> the cost we of gas take, yes, the this year gas. has to be you know accounted for. Yeah, it does, and that's why next year when everyone's already done and used all their coupons, yes. and all their trips that have been postponed for three years, and now they're tired. Yeah. And they're like, oh crap, all those crowds suck. Let's stay home. Yeah. And then we'll go, okay. and we'll go to like the Teton. I just want to show the kids other parts of. This yeah, we'll have the fourth grade national park pass next year with Ashley being in fourth grade, and so maybe we'll take advantage of that. Maybe but, we go to Grand Canyon. Oh, that is so far. Maybe we fly there. <laughs> no, you go in spurts. I know. Hey, my battery's flashing. Tetons. The battery's flashing. I gotta change the battery. Um, sorry, I have to make your own lunch, dinner, whatever we're at, 6 p.m. So, this is 90 degrees? <laughs> I'm gonna get this on camera so he can... I have proof that he's gonna say he's gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be 90 degrees on Sunday. 88. So can you pull out the AC units? Anytime between Sunday? Sunday, it'll be 88. Saturday, 85. Tomorrow, it's raining. So we have like weird, weird weather. I plan on editing all day tomorrow, but Sunday it'll be pretty hot here at home. Once we get home from church, just need your. I need to have document that you're gonna promise to help me pull them out and take them up. Probably. This is how he answers, you guys. He's like, well, I didn't commit to it. It sounds like something we might do. <laughs> He's such a schmuck. Are you mailing these tonight? No. So can I, then why did you bring them home? 
Because I need to prep them so I can mail them first thing in the morning. Oh, so you're going to prep them I'm tonight. I'm going to go for a run tonight. Okay, so you're prepping all of these yeah. to mail tonight. They'll be out of your hair before you even wake up. I was awake at before 7 a.m. this morning. It was like 6 a.m. this morning. No, because yeah. I got up I was at 6.30. Yeah, but I was still awake. You were because I didn't. when I left, walked out of the room. I don't remember you walking out of the room, but I, <laughs> but I remember looking at the clock, and it was at just before 7. Yeah, I woke up early, too. It was annoying. And I tried to sleep, tried to sleep, and then Super I got up at 6.30. Was oh, I was so annoyed that I was awake that early. I was so tired last night. All right, guys, I'm going to end today's video because I need to start to edit it. I've been doing a ton of editing, ton of stuff to get caught up. I did not edit anything while we were down at my sister's wedding except her wedding video. So... I have a lot to catch up on and get you guys caught up on because I know you guys were kind of curious about our trip and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more fun and also for Abby's appointment later this week to go and see her orthopedic specialist again. And we have a couple other fun things I'm trying to think. I'm probably gonna go to the beach with the kids later this week as the weather keeps getting better but tomorrow it's going to be rainy, so I'm going to edit tomorrow. <laughs> so we will see if I pick up you, the camera, and take you on my day tomorrow, but if it's just rainy and muggy and yucky, then I probably will just spend my day editing and getting caught up. But the next video you'll see is us doing something, something or other. So take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you